guys, good morning. It is eight and I've been out protesting in LA all week, you guys. I have had a magical experience, a magical week connecting with people and being surrounded by people that are like-minded, people that have nothing but love and peace inside of them. And it's just been so beautiful. So if you guys want to catch up on that, there's a ton of content over on my Instagram. I have two Instagrams, actually. I don't think I've really promoted my second one. Yes, I have an Instagram for my Jeep, AJK doll. And there's just been so many beautiful, candid moments that I was able to capture while I've been out protesting here in LA. So definitely check that out as well as my main Instagram at a K doll. I have actually a highlight that I made for Black Lives Matter. It has a lot of information in it. Come here. As well. So definitely check that out. And then my posts have a lot of detailed captions on them if you want to know how I'm feeling in the community. I know I got a DM the other day or maybe it was a comment. I just really haven't been on my um, DMs and stuff checking it as often because I haven't had time to go through them, but I will make time today. Someone asked me to do a Q&A to help them understand racism in America. Um, I'm not gonna do that because I'm tired I think if you want to learn about it, that's amazing. But I would really recommend that you just learn about it on your own. And I don't mean that to be mean or rude, but I think it would be good for you to just Google whatever questions that you're confused about so you can understand what racism in America is like. Um, that would mean a lot to me if you took the time out to do it versus me doing a Q&A on it or something. Um, I don't know, I don't know. But I did wanna address that because while you mean well, it's not really our place to continue to educate those around us. I think if you wanna know, it would just be good like anything else. You know, if you want to know how to knit, you would Google it, you know, look up a tutorial. It's kind of like the same thing. <laughs> Educate yourself, because at the end of the day, they don't really go into detail about this in school. I know for me this past week, I've learned way more about black history than I've ever learned in school. So that speaks volumes, and I'm glad that I got to experience this firsthand so I can have these memories for my lifetime and bring it down to my children and have those stories like, back in my day, 2020 was a time to be alive. <laughs> so I just have this overwhelming feeling from this past week, nothing but love, nothing but love peace it was so beautiful i got a chance to get a little bit of clips although it wasn't my intention to vlog any of this um i think that was my last vlog if this goes up in time so definitely check that out i'll try to drop a link in the description box below but today's focus is getting back to my work grind i have to get back on deadlines and getting a routine together i gotta get my fitness game back although i have been so active my abs are popping out been walking a lot so that is a benefit of protesting because i walked 11 miles one day with beverly from hollywood to downtown and that was probably one of my favorite days that in the second day and um you really are just in the moment you're not worrying about eating you're not worried about how much you're walking because it's just so much love energy around you and you're there for a purpose and a reason so yeah i'm definitely super lean and i need to get my calories back up with foods and do some meal prep so that's going to be on the agenda today i'm going to clean my apartment today i'm going to sage myself today although i was surrounded by nothing but love energy there is a lot of energy around you. So I just kind of want to start fresh, ground my energy and get back to having like a clear intuition, I guess. I've been chanting in my sleep, Black Lives Matter. Oh, all of these chants, I just feel like I'm going crazy. I'm hearing horns like honking and stuff. 
it's just like embedded in my mind right now. Defund the police. Whose streets are streets? Whose streets are streets? So that I just need to kind of recenter myself because I have a million and one thoughts going in my mind. But I don't know if you guys can see back there behind me over there. It's like on the last limb. I have a white candle going. And I missed the full moon, so I didn't get a chance to do my ritual, but the energy is still here. So I'm gonna do my spiritual ritual today, do a meditation, sage myself, and then work on some candles for myself. And if I have time, I'll try to get some ready for you guys. During this week when I was out protesting, I had my white one going, a red and a green candle. So those energies together, I truly felt it. And I need to go journal about it because the energy was so beautiful so white was for my spirit guides so I can receive those messages and allow them to guide me down the right path as well as have protection around me again when you're around so many people and you have this fear embedded in your mind around police brutality and authority figures I really wanted to just protect my aura and my overall energy being out there firsthand so that I really felt the protection come through from the green candle this week this is just me reflecting on the energy and I highly recommend you guys reflect back after you get your candles and you burn them so you can see what you got out of that experience so the green candle for me I definitely was in the right place at the right time every single day that I was out there protesting I got to lead a protest the second day that I was out and I found some news coverage on YouTube so I'll try to insert that into this video it was insane you guys I just want to be free from the free feel love for the first time I just want to love something about me see something to open my eyes don't want to be the only one with the house key have something I'm proud of I wish we were living in my dreams Cause in another world you'll come with me And we'd be out of sight, out of mind Drop your windows down with your head in mine Out of sight, out of mind Out of sight, out of mind that i never ever expected i talked about this the day that i was out there someone assumed that i was going to be helping out to lead my intentions were to show up and help block off intersections so that people can safely march but i was put into a leadership role and i do believe i was guided with my spirit guides to have that opportunity come to me and that's what green does it gives you these opportunities to grow to have on your spiritual journey and that was something so huge for me you guys that i will never in my life forget and with that being in the right place at the right time i was able to use my voice with a lot of passion a lot of love coming out of me and the people that i met that are so like-minded that have similar values and morals to me was so unreal so that i'm forever grateful and then i burned a red candle at the same time you can burn multiple colors you guys you don't have to just do one at a time depending on what you need um the red fiery energy i felt that i just felt like i was unstoppable i felt so empowered i felt unconditional love i had so much self-love for myself i felt like i was regaining that back just being out there and love i just felt like the people that i was interacting with were genuine connections not surface level hey what's up what do you do no man these conversations i was having with people that i just met were so deep and usually conversations you would steer clear away from because they're controversial or i don't want to hurt your feelings or 
I don't want to talk out of line. No, I was going deep with these conversations, like showing love with so many people outside of my own race. Like, it was a freaking magical moment, you guys. And the fact that this all happened around the full moon energy was just so fucking powerful, you guys. So it's crazy that it took a quarantine, a pandemic. I saw this quote go around. Sorry, I'm losing my voice. It took a pandemic, a quarantine, um, curfews to get everyone around the world, not just in America, but other countries to really see the bigger issue that we have, including myself, including everything firsthand. And that was the awakening that I believe that we needed in this community for people to see the messed up things that are going on. And like I always say, divine timing is everything. When I was out there yesterday, protesting in Hollywood. LA was shut down, you guys. The amount of people that came through was so beautiful. And there were no police around. I don't understand it. I mean, YG did show up, so I don't know if that had something to do with it. Kendrick was there. He plays on Insecure. He's a beautiful soul. He's been out there protesting here in LA every single day. Just the love here was just so beautiful. So being a part of that was something I'll never forget. So I just wanted to kind of recap on that and check back in with you guys. I've lost followers over my post and that's fine. Like if you don't support me and what I have to say, me using my voice, my platform to educate and share things, that's fine you know don't mute me delete me whatever that's fine do what you have to do at the end of the day everything I do my intention is always to do it with love whether it be sharing self-care on my platform sharing how to better your lifestyle through spiritual ways through the foods that you eat through the workouts that I do just creating self-love is what I'm all about so if you can get with that that's fine we don't need that in our lives or in this community that I've built on my platform. So that's interesting. I try to make at least every vlog a little bit of a takeaway so you learn something from it, whether it be a healthy recipe, a workout, a spiritual advice, you know, something of that matter. So that's what I'm always about, self-love always and only love and light. But um, let me get my light, let me get my voice together and I'll be right back. Oh yeah, let me show you guys something. I bought this step for my workouts on Amazon. And I really only used it once, but I really wanna use it today for leg day and booty day. So I'll link this down below if you guys wanna get it for your quarantine workouts. Um, Cause I don't know about the gyms. I don't know about quarantine. All the cops that were out did not have masks on bars were open when we were marching by so the fact that the news hasn't really talked about covid i haven't heard anything in an entire week i don't know what's going on what phase are we in can someone let me know because it's just confusing at this point and i do continue to question everything about this covid thing because My white just burned out today. Perfect timing. I definitely want to get some more ready for myself. I think I'm going to do orange. I have an orange candle that I was saving for myself for some creative energy, inspiration, motivation, and all of that good stuff. So thank you for your services. And here's my red one. She died last night. Thank you for your services. Yeah. Good morning. So I just got off from going to the post office. I'm gonna meet up with the girls right now to do a hike in Glendale. It's about 9.30. I left my sunglasses at home and I've just been chilling with the top down. It's been so nice. I forgot how much I liked it because I don't really go anywhere, <laughs> but it feels really good and I have so much sunscreen and SPF, you guys. I am burnt and I'm not trying to get any more red. Ooh, shout out to Kula. This is so convenient and perfect for COVID because you don't have to rub it in on your skin. It's just an SPF 
18 facial spray. It's up on my Amazon page if you guys want to pick some up for the summertime. But I'm gonna go get this address because we're going to a different park today to work out in. I'm going to Glendale and there's still protests happening here in LA all over so we're gonna skip out on Runyon today and do something a little bit different. Never been to this park, so hopefully it'll be a challenge. I need a challenge. So it's about 30 minutes away. Oh shit, I'm gonna be late. I gotta go. She said she ran me in college, I know that that's true. I'm gonna be home soon. Let's go get coffee for Oh my god, guys, I just realized there's a hole in my biker shorts. I don't have any good workout shorts because it's so hot, it's almost 90 degrees, so please drop some comments down below because I need to get some ASAP. But the girls are almost here, so I'm just gonna mix my pre-workout right now because your girl needs it. I feel like I haven't been sleeping that well this past week, so I just put the powder in here and then I'll mix the water when I get closer to my destination. And I feel like I didn't bring enough water. I also, this is a problem, girl was not prepared today. I don't trust these water fountains out here, you guys. I don't think you're supposed to drink out of them now. With everything going on. Let's see, I'm gonna take my pre-workout. <gasps> I love this song. I wish I could play music while I could vlog because it's always a bop. <laughs> But this is my Alani New pre-workout. I like the Hawaiian shaved ice, it's really bomb. Obviously it's on my Amazon page for you guys, which thank God I have that. It's so much easier than having to do individual links every single vlog. So I'm glad that you guys are appreciating that as well. We got it. This is definitely a good leg day, let me just say that. Oh Jesus. Look at this view. What's this park called again? Brand? We got Haley and Annie out here. 90 degrees. All uphill. All uphill. I thought you just said jalapeno. <laughs> Can't stop us now. Every day is a challenge. Top down, blow a smoke out. It's not good for my balance. It sounds great when I'm burnt out. Cause now the drugs aren't working. Oh my god, we were like the only people out here aside from like three people I saw. They were like, you're brave to do it at this time of day. Leaving me so lonely, only left me half a minute. Now the highs aren't worth it. The drugs aren't working. I'm making myself my first meal of the day. So I have an English muffin toasting up right now, and then I did make some cheesy eggs. I've been craving cheesy eggs for some reason. So I have three brown eggs with a quarter cup of this Daya Cheddar style cheese. This stuff is life. I put this on everything and it's so good, you guys. I love a protein packed, carb filled meal. About to go in, you guys. I'm telling you, this Daya cheese, it slaps. Slaps so hard, I put it on everything. I'm gonna catch up on Insecure, one of my favorite shows. Obviously it's nighttime right now, just took Lee out for the last time tonight. Heating up a meal prep and I've actually slept a long time. I had the best nap, you guys, it was much needed. Cleaned up the apartment today, ran my errands. So I got things done that I wanted to and I just needed to sleep. Sometimes you just gotta listen to your body. So I thought I would come back and check in. I forgot I started a vlog today. I didn't wanna leave you guys hanging, but I am gonna catch up on some shows and just have a little bit of me time tonight. I lit a yellow candle today, which is great for manifesting my dreams. Basically things on my vision board to come to life and to put action behind them. Vitality, happiness, have a little bit of a glow within, allowing you to put forth the action towards the things that you want to accomplish and many more amazing things. So that's where my night is. I'm gonna show you guys my dinner and I'm getting off the vlog. 
So I did a little meal prep the other day. Y'all already know I keep it simple. I feel like the less ingredients, the cleaner it is, the better. So I did a pork chop with some green beans and then some jasmine rice. Just gonna add some vegan butter to this. And honestly, people ask me, don't you get tired of eating the same things every day? No. Don't you get tired of eating junk food every day or hot Cheetos every day? It's the same thing in my opinion. Your body definitely gets used to certain foods and will crave healthy foods when you eat healthy. Literally takes two weeks to adjust to new habits and routines. So my body actually craves simple foods, things that aren't covered in a lot of sauces, overly sweet things. Like this is just what I like to eat. And I eat for fuel, I eat for nutrition and healthy energy and things that are gonna actually make me feel satisfied. I know when I eat a lot of junk food, I'm still hungry, I wanna snack on more things and it's a lot of the wrong foods. So I just rather eat foods that are basically allowing me to hit my macros and stuff. So that's an explanation on that and how I meal prep and why. And it's how I'm able to maintain my body and hit my goals when it comes to my fitness journey. So if you guys want these meal prep containers, lifesaver. I love the glass ones because they are very durable and it's worth the investment. So they're on my Amazon page if you guys are interested in that. And I believe, I can't remember if I did a video on my pork chop meal prep, but if I did, you already know, I'll drop a link down below for you guys. My heart's still hurting, this can't be all I am. Cause even this alone is only breath and